So, that was a ridiculously easy battle. As you can see, we lost only 37 guys. And we killed 1160. There are 100 remaining. And finally, the Kiso plan has decided to attack us. I was a little bit worried that I had to attack this fortress before winter. But, the attack. So, the battle versus the Kiso clan. First, I wanted to deploy on this hill, but there were some trees, so it would be troublesome for my archers. And then I thought, maybe I can rush to this hill in the middle. But, I was way too lazy for that. So, I decided to just deploy here and see what happens. And, well, actually what happened is that the enemy had some trouble moving over this mountain. And I actually tried to exploit this because they are all going this way and this is their entire army except for this light cavalry unit and at the moment I'm not doing anything <coughs> But here I saw that they um, and they still moved in their light cavalry. I have no idea what they wanted to do. They got destroyed. There's only one guy remaining. <coughs> but I moved my uh, two Naginata samurai units and two warrior monks to the flank so they couldn't get well, over here. I can't really remember why I deployed them first this way. But I corrected it and destroyed this Yari Nishikaru unit followed by this general over here my Yari Cav destroyed a Katana cavalry unit and here I moved my Yari Cav to maybe flank and here I ordered my Nakanata Samurai to attack and here is a mistake I made I kind of ignored these guys and didn't saw this Yari Yashigaru unit attacking them here my warrior bombs killed the general with bodyguard Yari Cavalry are going to attack the Bow Samurai. My Warrior Monks are going to attack these units in the back. And here, my Cavalry gets slaughtered. Alright, oh, pretty experienced units. But I noticed it. I just grew them. And I sent something to help them, yes. These warrior monks. 
And here, the mass rout is happening. Dead bodies everywhere. Cavalry running around. And these guys routed too. <coughs> That was an, uh, another quick battle. That's actually, well, great about Shogun 2, but also not so great is that even big battles, like well, this one, don't take very long. Uh, well, there was a, well, I w had the better troops, so. logical that this battle wasn't so long, but still, even if the troops are equal, the battles are pretty fast. Medieval 2, those battles took long. <coughs> and in Empire 2, that, that's another reason. So well, basically it's mopping up now. What's this? Oh, it's a farm. And some more cavalry running around. And there are only units of like two or three guys left. So, another crushing victory. So, we still won easily, but with slight me slightly more casualties than I would have liked. Especially these cavalry units. Which was just stupid of me, that I forgot about them. But, they have 41 guys remaining, so now I can finally take South Shinano. Oh, look at that! Hmm. Resistance to invaders. Okay. Not anymore. And a Yarish Garu unit. And wait over here until the next turn. And this city is being defended by Kiso Yorimori. And he still managed to kill three of my soldiers. He must be the clan hero. Unfortunately for him, I don't care about that. So, Ashigaru versus Ashigaru, I think they will win, but uh, with a lot of casualties. Oh, 
Shit. Yes, I can. Enemy army subverted. Other resolve. Oh, I have to level up the dude from the battle over here too. So now, the Takeda army will suffer attrition. What do we have here? Plus one command when besieged. More movement range. He has to be intimidating. <clears throat> but I don't think I will get him to rank 6. Maybe the first one, and um, this one. Make him more of a fighter. the generals but uh, <coughs> if they had a very high level general then then I would uh, kill them but nah they, these guys are just rank one Succeeded. Tory clan also weak after I destroyed their army. 